Hello everybody. For this debate video, I'm going to be defending the restriction of domestic oil production in the United States. Now to defend this stance, I'm just going to offer five points, uh, five simple points that defend this, this notion that we should be de restricting domestic oil production in the U.S. The first point is very simple. If, we're not, uh, if we restrict domestic oil production, we will save money that can be used elsewhere um, in, in a beneficial way. So if we're not pointing the, the financial means to drill for oil and produce it here, then we'll be able to use that money for other things. And we'll, we'll discuss some of the options uh, here shortly, other options for where that money can go, but things like infrastructure, uh, things like the, the economy and other ways, and that will, that will definitely stabilize the economy or help stabilize the economy in the U.S. The second point is it saves land that could be used for other productive means. So not only does it save money that we could use elsewhere, but it'll free up the land, it'll free up the space that we can use for different things, maybe factories to build. We'll talk about maybe electric vehicles here and, and other things and, and, and maybe farms and such things for food. There, there's a lot of options we would have and a lot of uh, opportunity we'd have if we not only save the money, but also save the land to use it for other productive means in the U.S. The third point, which sort of relates to the land, the second point about land, is it'll help the environment. Okay, so if we save that land, we can maybe have natural preserves and nat uh, national parks. Um, but it also helps because we're, we're limiting then our dependency on, on fossil fuels. And that, that could be beneficial in a number of ways as well. That could help restrict pollution. That can help slow the so-called global warming um, and such things. So there's, there's benefits in that respect as well. Helps the environment and we won't be using as many fossil fuels. The fourth point is this opens up the way for new technology, such as electric vehicles, uh, for instance. So if we're not so dependent upon drilling for oil and producing oil here uh, for, let's say, for our trains and for our cars and, and other things, then that opens the way to say, okay, well, we need, we need some, something to supplement those things that we're not going to be using as much now. So that opens the way for electric vehicles and, and, and other new technologies that could be very beneficial to the U.S., um, the fifth point is that it opens the way for doing business with other countries. Uh, for example, we'll, if we're not producing oil domestically, we'll probably still need it for various things, for a few, for the um, gas vehicles that we'll have here nonetheless, and, and other things like power plants and such. So that opens opportunity for us to purchase it from other countries if we're not making it domestically. And this, what this is going to do, it's going to increase imports, it'll strengthen the world economy generally, and it may foster stronger international relationships between the U.S. and, and other countries. So those are the five points. It'll save money, can be used elsewhere, save land that can be used for other productive means, helps the environment, opens the way for new technology, and the fifth point is it opens the way for doing business with other countries. Okay, thank you very much.